Hi guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing a game called Time Stone, which is another indie game that I'm playing that I will link in the bottom description. Um, I haven't played this at all, just looked at it and saw it and, saw it and thought it looked pretty cool. So let's get started with the new game. Should I read these? Professor, I'm here for my potions. Lesson? Question mark? Professor? Professor! I also liked how, like, I think the main character is a chick, so I was like, yes! Gotta get on in this game. Ella, no time to explain, but you must get out of here before he comes back. <laughs> before who comes back? It's too late. Slam. Ho ho ho. Who are you? What have you done to the professor? I am the evil warlock, Gordelward. And as for your precious professor, he has something I want. And since he has pla la pla my reading skills <laughs> Take it from him force. I'll never tell you where it is. Oh, but I think you will. In fact, I bet oh, I bet Okay, today's not a good day. I might even teleport you there right now to show you just how persuasive I can be. The professor! What are you going to do to him, you monster? Oh, don't worry. I'm just going to torture him within an inch of his life. Until he reveals to me the location of the time stone. Time stone? Er, never mind about that. You'll be too busy starving to death in this shack. Your professor calls home. And just how do you plan on keeping me here? Let's just see. You try and go anywhere with an unbreakable hex lock on the door. So I guess we're gonna try to break it? Ha ha ha. And we're only an apprentice. I've got an old fool to torture information from. I wonder what I should use first. The scalding hot lotions? Or the nipple clamps. <laughs> what? What? That is evil. Okay, so this is. I already like this game already. It seems like it's gonna be pretty fun. Point and click adventure. Can't move with anything, so yes, point and click. Um, but yeah, so far, so far, I actually really like it. You can tell there's gonna be like some um there's nothing here i'd want to carry around with me there's gonna be some comedy in it some humor so that's gonna be fun tapestry nope nothing hidden behind well might as well check fridge hmm all the professor keeps in his fridge are sandwich ingredients and sweet rolls Doo -doo -doo. my window is open i don't know if you guys can hear the cars but let's make a quick jump cut cuz yeah if I knew it well all right Windows situation is done and let's continue clicking on things potions let's see what we have here hex remover a walk through walls potion a teleportation serum <laughs> it's a shame they're all empty are you kidding me wow I have a fork Ew. I don't really want to touch it if I can help it. Yeah, I wouldn't want to touch that either. So we have a fork. And that's all we got so far. These crystal balls are used to communicate to other people. Let's see if we can contact someone. It's not working. Okay, that's great. Uh, let's check the cauldron and then uh, we can start moving on to other things. It's empty. What a surprise. A unicorn head. I can't reach it. So I'm going to probably need to reach the unicorn head. And puddle. Whatever this is leaking from that tube. The professor's drainage system experiment gone wrong. <laughs> what a mess. Blanket. Hmm, I've always wondered what professor keeps underneath this blanket. Can we find out? 
I guess it's a good time as any to find out. A baby dragon that looks like a baby dragon and it talks. Of course I can talk. How many dragons that don't? What? Okay, well, no. There, you what? <laughs> Just read it. You guys can read. I'm sorry I didn't mean to offend you. Never mind that. Are you going to make me a sandwich? Uh, no. Well, if you're not going to make me a sandwich, then what are you doing here? I'm L, the professor's apprentice. The professor has been kidnapped by evil warlock. I'm going to see if I can find a way out of here. Oh, I get to choose. Uh, should I introduce myself? Or he doesn't care. Oh, you're that lady that smells of honey when she visits. Oh, honey. Yes, I've never seen you in person, so I just imagine you look like based on your smell. But you don't look anything like a honey clay, sweet roll. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, the professor has been kidnapped by an evil warlock named Gargolord, who also placed an unbreakable hex lock on the door so I can't get it open. We're stuck in here. Hmm, that is a tough spot. Well, I guess we better get comfortable. <laughs> Wanna make me a sandwich? <laughs> um, no, I want to try to find a way out of here. I have a feeling that I'm gonna have to make him a sandwich. <laughs> okay, so so far, nice. Um, this is a lot of information. Don't you have any ideas at all on how to escape? Hmm, let me think for a minute. It's not gonna be a legit minute, right? No. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, can't think of anything. Who's Gargolord? He is some warlock who lives in some sort of sordid dungeon tower over in the mountains. Not much is known about him except his name is Gargolord, and he's hellbent on taking over the realm. There's also rumors that he's into <laughs> nipple clamps. Um, have you ever heard of whatever I just pressed? Uh, he mentioned he was looking for the time soon. Any idea what it is? No, but if I had to guess, I'd say it's some sort of stone that had something to do with time. <laughs> Thanks. Didn't mention. I love this dragon. Any idea where the professor might keep it? Look, he keeps me under a stupid blanket most of the time, so how would I know? Uh, enough of Al Gargalor. Who are you? <laughs> the professor's pet dragon. That's it. What's your name, dragon? My name? My name is... Dragon. <laughs> dragon? Well, that's the name I tend to go by. <laughs> Alright. My parents intend to name me after something they love. But unfortunately, I don't really care for the name they gave me. He has a name! What do they name you? Donuts! <laughs> Donuts the dragon! <laughs> but as I say, I don't really care for it. I'm much more a sweet vocal. <laughs> Donuts. That's cute. Donuts the dragon. Um, I thought the little dragons were extinct. Most of them are. Mainly due to being killed by knights. That's what you get for burning down villages, I suppose. <laughs> it makes it difficult for people to warm up to you. Ha ha pun. <laughs> I know, I was like, there was a pun. Anyway, it was mainly the bigger dragons that got slayed. Smaller dragons like me were left alone as we were seen more, more as vermin like pigeons, as opposed to a threat that needed killing. Um. Um. Okay. Let me know if you decide to make me that sandwich. Maybe, maybe not. I don't need it. Let, that's a wand. Let's see. If I can. What is this? Oh, that. This is the professor's magic wand. 
I didn't know the professor had a magic wand. Well, the only magic it does is electrocuting me. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Oh, no. What? It's like a taser cupboard. It's locked. It, or it's jammed. Hmm, fork. 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 Fork the There we go. Now I actually have to reopen it. Candles. Okay. I can't sleep at a time like this. This map isn't going to save help. What? Certificates. I'm mad if I touch the certificates. Okay. So I have candles. Um. Can't reach them. Map isn't going to help me. Hmm. Is there like another half of the room? No. Okay, let's make- can I make him a sandwich now? Shopping list. Let's take a look. Why not? Milk, bacon, eggs, beef, and glue. There's nothing secret to this, right? Like some secret word or something? Nope. I don't know. It could be like a secret code. What? No. <laughs> so I'm not really ever gonna make a sandwich then. Maybe? No? No? I love that dragon. What happens if I take the electric one and use it on no okay I don't I don't know what uh, I don't know oh wait candles how do I put this back ah okay candles Oh, I took them back. Huh. I feel like they need to be there, though. Can I electric want it? No, I might break it. Okay. I can't reach them. Can I, like, electrify the pipes? No. Huh. Well, I'm lost, and so at this point, I'll just make it, um, this is the first episode, so I hope you guys enjoy it, and stay tuned for the next episode, because there's more to come, and I'm having fun with this game, I just need to figure out what to do next, as, um, I don't know what to do next, I might need the lantern, maybe the lantern has fire or something, maybe, hmm, okay, well, I'll see you guys next episode, and...